Welcome to Catch Up, our blog covering the latest tech trends and insights in the seafood industry. I'm Eric Anotam, the CEO and co-founder of This Fish, and I'll be your host today. So this episode of Catch Up is the first in our AI guide series in which we survey the use of software and artificial intelligence in the seafood sector. And in today's episode, we look at 82 software and AI-enabled apps for aquaculture. So there's been a remarkable explosion in innovation in aquaculture in only a few short years. In fact, more than half the software companies for aquaculture have been launched in the past five years. And the vast majority? Well, they're employing some type of AI, uh, as you can see from the orange bars in this chart. In fact, about 70% of the software uses AI, and more than half use computer vision, which is a specialized type of AI whereby machines identify and classify things in images. So why are we seeing this explosive growth? Well, first, the technology. Basically, machine learning algorithms are becoming smarter and more powerful. And here's an example. Every year since 2010, ImageNet has held a visual recognition competition in which machines compete against humans uh, for recognizing images. So when it started, AI was getting it wrong about 25% of the time. Then, in 2015, AI, AI algorithms beat humans and have been getting better and better ever since. So all these machine learning algorithms need data to, well, learn. And it's estimated the amount of data in the world is doubling every few years, as you can see in this chart. And a lot of this data is being collected from low-cost remote sensors. And there are a lot of sensors in aquaculture. Almost half the software companies are deploying cameras, and 38% uh, use some type of water quality sensors. Other companies are also employing uh, hydroacoustic sensors and even satellite imageries from outer, outer space. And the innovation is happening all over the world, but I would say one country stands out. Norway is a pretty small country, but about 19% of the software companies are headquartered there working in the high-valued salmon aquaculture industry. In fact, about 76% of the software is built for fish farming, followed by 35% for shrimp. And then there's about 10% specialized for shellfish and 18% for RAS, or recirculating aquaculture systems, which in my opinion is probably going to grow as we see more farms moving to closed containment on land. And there's a lot of venture capital funding this growth and in innovation. According to Crunchbase, about $293 million has been raised uh, by aquaculture software. In just the last year alone, tens of millions of dollars have poured into companies such as eFishery, Aquabyte, and Expert3C, uh, the top three. And what is this tech doing? Well, it must be doing something of value, uh, given all the investment. So the software is really being used to monitor water quality and health, predict disease outbreak, count lice in salmon farming. It's also being used to optimize feeding and uh, estimate biomass and growth. It's really helping to drive down cost uh, and improve the productivity of the farms. So if you're interested in this topic, you can read more of my in-depth analysis and view many of these infographics online. All you need to do is simply scan this QR code or visit our blog at this.fish slash blog. And of course, you can always sign up to our monthly catch-up newsletter at this.fish slash catch-up. So thank you for catching up with me, and we'll see you next time.